of Hikri Bebo Marwaizai and today I will be representing uh, my group that we talk about uh, the coal power generation so before we start our before we talk uh, more deeper about this uh, power generation I would like to uh, briefly what, uh, about what is the coal power generation uh, is all about so uh, power, coal power generation is a power plant that uh, use a coal as the main source of the uh, electric electricity produced. So, actually, the coal power uh, generator is one of the most important power plant in the world. Uh, uh, eventually, this power generation uh, contribute about forty percent of the electricity of the uh, world. Uh, many many big countries such as uh, South Africa, China, uh, and India itself using this uh, type of uh, power plant as it, uh, as its main power plant. Uh, so okay. Next, I will uh, tell you about the rank of the coil. So the, there are four rank of uh, the coil and each rank determined by the uh, heating value and the percent of the carbon inside the coil itself so the four uh, rank known as uh, anthracite, uh, bitum bituminous, sub-bituminous and uh, lignite so the first one is anthracite uh, anthracite uh, contain 86% of uh, carbon to 97% of carbon and it have highest heating value the second one is bituminous they are contain 45 until 86% of carbon uh, and is important in generating electricity the third one is sub, -bitu uh, sub bituminous that contain 35% uh, until 45% of carbon and have lower heating uh, value then bituminous. The final one is lignite that have a uh, twenty five percent until thirty five percent of carbon and have the lowest heating value. All, all uh, overall, the rank of the uh, coil. My name is uh, Diva Garet Wallace Premium. So here, this is the charcoal uh, production, and we let's see. This is the diagram of the. Uh, charcoal power plant this is how it's work so we let's go with the this is the furnace fuel and air will be get in and then it will go to the superheater boiler drama economizer this one is a boiler and superheated hp steam turbine turbine is a to generate the current and generator it will go to the generator and it will go by uh, distribute the current by three phase supply as usual and here we got a cooling cooler cooling tower condenser so first the boiler the boiler acts as a furnace transferring heat from the burning fuel to row open row of water keeps the entire surround the flames then the water is kept flowing through the tubes by a pump p1 drum it contains water and steam at high pressure and produces steam for the turbine it also receives water delivered by boiler feed pump to make it cool High pressure turbine. Here we have uh, two, two, two types of uh, turbine. High pressure the turbine converts thermal energy into mechanical energy by letting the steam expand as it moves through the turbine. So the thermal energy will convert into a mechanical energy. So it will the turbine will be moved around. Medium pressure turbine. It is similar to HP turbine except that it is a bigger so that the steam expands still more, contains more water high pressure and produce steam for the turbine. And this one is a low pressure turbine. It is composed of two identical seconds and it remains remaining available energy from the steam that the steam turbine can be impulse or reaction turbine and sometimes combination of both. So the condenser, it causes the steam to condense by letting it flow over the pipes cold water. So this cold water is uh, carries uh, pipes away from the heat. So it makes the temperature cool. It will cool between uh, 27 degrees Celsius to 33 degrees Celsius. It will in the range of the temperature. So it creates a uh, five kilopascal. This one is a general 
general pressure <clears throat> and it contains pump feed to remove the lukewarm this contains steam and drive it to the reheater to a feed pump reheater heat exchanger receive a hot steam bled off from the high pressure thermal to raise the temperature of the feed thermodynamics show that the, when some steam is bled off this way the overall efficiency increases so when the turbine is moved the it will produce the induced current due to the cutting of the magnetic flux so it produces a current and here we go for the process burner burner supply and control the amount of gas or coal injected into the boiler we will inject the gas oil or coal the coal pulverized before it is injected heavy bunker oil is preheated and injected as atomized jet to improve surface contact with the surrounding air we will insert three types of the element to improve the surface contact surrounding the air inside the burner so first fast draft it furnishes the enormous quantities of air needed for combustion in this draft fan it carries gases and other product of combustion toward the cleansing apparatus from the air to stuck and the outside air. and uh, this one is generator connected to turbines converts the mechanical energy into a electrical energy so the generator will be distribute the current through the three phase system by the transmission line and to the uh, to the load as we design that's it hi assalamualaikum my name is Siti Nadia Usna bin Zulkifli okay today I would like to present my part which is a mathematical model representing the total power of coal power generation uh, you can see that the flow of energy uh, started from chemical energy mechanical energy and lastly is electrical energy okay to calculate the power consumption for coal power generation we must have the coal requirement per day for a plant and second the coal handling maintenance strategy and the last one operation hours of power generation okay for the first step of calculation we must find the plant running load and then the coal consumed in a day Okay, next we go to the calculation step. First of all, the power plant maintenance calculation. We must have a coal shed capacity, which is the formula is length time width time average height of coal times coal density. Okay, for the second step, we must have yard capacity, which is length time average of height time coal density. Okay, next we go to the last step, which is uh, how to find the operating hours of uh, coal power generation. Okay, first, we must have uh, the coal consumption in 12 hours, then uh, the volume of bunker, then we can find the total volume of bunker, which is the volume of bunker times 110%. Uh, so, we will get the total volume of bunker. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Today, I would like to present my part for the power system assignment which talks about coal power generation Before that, I would like to introduce myself before presenting the slide My name is Muhammad Nabil bin Khairul Azlan and my metric number is 211090950 before that, I would like to express my gratitude to Puan Nur Hanisa because of the guidance for the assignment. I hope you are doing well and staying healthy during this difficult time we are living. For my part, I will present about the government commitment towards promoting a sustainable and cleaner production to replace the coal power generation. Malaysian plan, also known as RMK-12 or Rancangan Malaysia ke-12, was unveiled by our prime, former Prime Minister Datuk Seri Ismail Sabri Yaakob, who also stated that the nation's goal is to achieve carbon neutrality by the year 2050. A comprehensive national energy policy will soon be introduced to provide a long-term strategic direction as part of the carbon neutral goal, along with a promises that the government will never longer construct new coal-fired power plants in Malaysia. 
Malaysia currently contributes less than 0.7% of the world's total greenhouse gas emission in accordance with the goal of creating a low carbon nation the government will continue to uphold its pledge to reduce the intensity of greenhouse gas emissions per unit of gross domestic by product by the year 2030. The Trazalia will be implementing a program aimed at improving the nation's electricity supply system as part of efforts to transition to renewable energy says Prime Minister Ismail Sabri Yaakob, the former Prime Minister. The government has approved an allocation for the distribution of 1,200 megawatts of renewable energy for solar power. This will include the installation of solar panels on the roofs of the government buildings. To that end, there will be an increasing need to develop network reinforcement to mitigate future congestions and investment in energy balancing infrastructure such as grid scale batteries and pump hydro energy storage units to address the intermittent nature of renewable energy generation. The picture at left of my body is the project for solar panel at Sepang by the work of Tenaga National Berhad which used 200, 230,000 Solar panel which contribute 50 megawatts. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Mama Ismail Jamaradi. My market number is 2110920032. Today I will be presenting about the advantages and disadvantages of coal fired power generation. As we know, this coal is a flammable organic rock consisting primarily of carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen with less sulfur and nitrogen that could be used to produce electricity. The majority of nations, including Australia, China, the United States, Russia, India, Indonesia, Singapore, Thailand, and Philippines, also our nation, Malaysia, remain heavily dependent on fossil fuel as their source of energy, generating an average of over 79% of their total energy. Here are some of the advantages of coal-fired power generation. The first one is the coal efficiency. As you can see, numerous research and articles have lately reported on the use of storified biomass in current handling and storage facilities, as well as the use of the material in coal-fired power plants. Evaluated and reported on the same major European power providers clarification and palletizing work together to provide an energy-based energy dense biomass fuel with characteristics akin to bituminous uh, coal. In comparison, the state of the art biofuel chains, the high clarified value and high energy and uh, bulk densities of uh, PVP may result in significant cost saving. The next advantage is uh, electricity market supply. The majority of contemporary large scale coal plants were designed to operate at high capacity factor, supplying base load energy. Contrary to peaking units, which only provides electricity at times of high demands or high or when base load plants are unavailable for maintenance. Base load facilities are intended to operate at consistent output level prior to the current phase of cheap natural gas prices and discussion of non hydro renewable energy sources. Coal and energy and nuclear technologies provide the majority of the electricity operating for the overwhelming majority in time with very modest output changes on weekdays peak power then demand typically happens in the late afternoon and early evening as a large number of people return from work and turn on their electrical appliances while coal has the potential to be tremendously source of energy it does have several drawbacks the major disadvantages of coal is negative impact on the environment. Here are some of 
disadvantages of coal-fired power generation. The first one is the toxicity and impacts on public health. Hazardous air pollutants uh, re released into the environment by coal-fired power plants can have a wide range of environmental health impacts, including damage to the eye, skin, and breathing, uh, breathing passage, harmful effects on the kidneys, lungs, and nervous system. The potential to, came, uh, to cause cancer is also high, including impairments of neurological function and learning capacity. The most noxworthy negative effects on human health are the environment caused by emissions of hazardous air pollution from coal fired power plants. And those are and, and this related to exposure to mercury in food and metal in airborne fine particulate matter. Arsenic, beryllium, cadmium, uh, lead and magnesium, nickel, radium, selenium and other dangerous air pollution. Air pollutants are key elements to the particulate matter that this is directly emitted from coal fired power plants. Environmental effects on hazardous air pollutant emission from power plant uh, inside acid, inside acidification from the environment by control of toxic metals. Uh, as you can see in the figure one here, the air, air pollution health effects by a pyramid. The health effects of the pollutions are portrayed as the pyramid and the, and the most common effect of the bottom pyramid and the more severe but less frequent effect at the top of the pyramid. The pyramid shows that the severity decreases the number of people affected increases Exposure to air pollution can affect both the respiratory and the cardiac system. This, uh, this figure is adapted from UES 2008. The second disadvantage is the generations of million ton waste. Due to mobility in surface and ground waters, water soluble heavy metals like arsenic, beryllium, uh, and it can endanger the vegetation and animals. It, it is also discovered that there are high levels of metals on uh, concentration to in the water bodies close to coal fire power station. Putting the aquatic species that live there at risk. The leak uh, arsenic concentration from both leaching experiments were greatly above the limits of industrial influence and Malaysia and Malaysian drinking water quality. The last but not least is the con contribution to air pollution. The binding and probably demonstrate that coal fire power plants have a considerable negative influence on the environment, particularly with uh, regard to potentially climate potentially, potentially climate changes and global warming. It significantly affects carbon dioxide uh, emission, particularly through up the stage of operation and uh, maintenance. Coal does the less well environmentally compared to gas and oil in comparison to nuclear or renewable energy. Fossil fuel emits much more greenhouse gases, GHG. The possibility of uh, eutrophication uh, depletes and global warming are all strongly associated with coal. That's all for me. Thank you. Mission, we can conclude that the coal power generation was one of the important power plant in the entire world. Uh, so, the source of this plant, which is a coal, uh, is the world's most abundant energy resource. Uh, there are over 192 billion tons of proven coal reserved worldwide. It is enough to last nearly uh, 110 years at the current uh, rate of production.
uh, because uh, because of the coal is easy uh, to find many country use it as a main power plant uh, you have China South Africa and India uh, in the example that use a coal uh, for its main power plant in Malaysia we have two big power plant uh, which is Jana Manjung uh, that located at Ipoh Perak and Tanjung Bin uh, and that located in Johor so this power generation is the main power plant that produce electricity and uh, distribute all over the Malaysia state so that's all for me thank you